What is up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Dirt Castle for the next episode of Shopkeep. My name is Splattercat. Very happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little bit and try and make more moolah. Make a little bit of cheddar. Make some change. Try and make our life a little bit better. Oh, man. They're all flipped around again. That's upsetting. I don't know if I can live with that. I don't know if I can live with that, but welcome back to the Nerd Castle here. Let me fix this real fast before we start our day. I actually, it'd be nice if you could build during the day, too, if you could, like, expand and work on stuff while just chilling and waiting for customers to stop being douches and throwing stuff off your shelves. I will more than likely just go in like so. I don't know. Oh, man, I lost track. There we go. That's what I, I lost track of the facing, if you're wondering what I'm talking about. I had a facing, and I was trying to keep it, and then I lost it. I had it. It's gone. I'm trying to return it, though. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted. We'll just kind of have them all be a little rotational. They changed directions halfway across. I don't know why I did that. I thought maybe it might look fancy or something, but nope. It does not look fancy. It mostly just looks slovenly, or slovenly, as some fancy people like to say it. We're going to open the shop back up. We're at level 10 right now. We're saving up our K points. Saving up our K points. We're not at the point right now where we've made so much money that I feel super confident about our chances to last forever as a retail establishment. Still, things are going pretty well. We've got a large, sizable back stock at the moment, which I think is always a good thing to have, especially when the front stock is selling so fast that you can't keep the back stock on the shelves. This idea for a game was really, really fantastic. I've heard some other people say that there are other games like this. The only one that I've ever played that was like this was Wrecketeer, which was a JRPG that came out, an indie JRPG that came out back when Steam first started doing green light and stuff like that, and Wrecketeer was really, really cool. I enjoyed that little game. It was a game that I did not expect to be as good as it was. I would like you to go right... I, I had the spot, damn it. I had the spot, and now I've lost it. Oh, there it was. Got it. See, you can't hide from me. You can't hide from me like that. I got you covered. I'm on that ass, Potion. I'm on that ass. I think we could probably get away with raising our prices a little bit. I don't know if I... The flippage didn't seem quite so bad lately. I'm going to go up to 140 for right now. And now that the 140 has been achieved, let's put in some health potion orders, too. We got plenty of stuff to do and plenty of stuff to work on. No customers have come in yet. I do have some repairs to do. Wow. They are destroying this cabinet. I think it's because they have, like, mass throughput. Like, I think it loses a set percentile for every single thing that's taken off the shelf. And it's just because it sells a lot of little things over there. There tend to be a lot of purchases. And so it puts you in a situation where it's getting broken down a lot more frequently than, say, these right here, which tend to sell big objects. That guy's up to something. I don't trust him. He's doing something. Oh, he was innocent? Shit. I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean to convert you into skeletal mass. I didn't want to make you into a real-life skeletor. What about you? Yeah, he stole something for sure. See? False positives. Making me all jumpy. I've committed murder like 150 times and nobody questions me on it because I'm so rich that the magistrate just never comes by. He knows he can't beat me in court. I'll, hand, I'll hire one of those fancy big city lawyers. He'll come on out and represent my case and then they never put me in the pan. Can't send me to Susie's house. I won't go. You can't make me. Perfect. This guy that I knew in high school got no knock rated this morning. Kind of crazy. Like the SWAT team busted down his door and was like, BAM! He got all in there. He got arrested. Apparently, he had a heroin den in his house. Who knew? I don't hang out with the guy. Like, I'm not friends with him. I just know him from high school. I remember his face. It was on Facebook. One of my friends posted about it. And then I followed the police department in my hometown. And they posted about it. Apparently, he had, like, a bajillion guns and a whole bunch of heroin in his house. <laughs> no idea. No idea. It's always interesting. I always wish that there was a way for you to keep track of, like, just internally, be a fly on the wall for all the shit, like, the people you knew in high school do with their lives. Like, little mini novels about how they spent their time. These guys. These guys with their little two-step and pathfinding. That sh it cracks me up every single time. Every time I look at it, I just want to bust out into a big smile. Sold another sword? Good. Trying to make some money right now. Man, people are looking fly when they leave our store. When they leave our store, they look like they're equipped. They're ready for the road. They're ready to... What did you do? You did something. Hmm. Gonna run him down the old-fashioned way. He stole a potion. It's not... Oh, are they all taken off? Did they rob me? Oh, 
Oh, dude, I think they robbed me while I was chasing down the other guy. And if I, like, chase them halfway across town, I wonder if that's actually in the code. It means that I have to sell two swords now to make up for the two that just got sold. Uh, to make up the profit loss from... Yeah, it's bad. It's not good. It is saddening. Go ahead and keep sweeping up, I guess. Keep on sweeping on. Knocking stuff over and walking out. Can't pick it up. What, your flanges don't work? Come on, man. Give it a grip. You knock it on the floor, pick it up more. That's the only saying that I have for you right now. I'm not very good at sayings, so I tend to stay away from them. What's going on with that right there? Oh, it was blocking all the other deployment spots. Okay. That's what was wrong with it. I would like more gloves to be on this shelf. But it, it might not be achievable right now. I might have to just walk away and accept that it's outside my capabilities. Anybody buy any boots from over there? Boots are looking good. Everything's looking kind of sexy on this side. So now we play the waiting game until daytime starts, which actually, strangely enough, now that we brought it up, was 10 seconds ago. Let me restock this real fast. I messed around with the graphical settings. I was noticing that it was lagging quite a bit the last little bit. Like, we're starting to get to the point where there's so many customers coming in that it's starting to, like, heat up the engine and whatnot. And so I had to turn off some of the little graphical options. They didn't really change much anyways. I think they made, like, the edge lines a little bit thicker and, like, some other random stuff, but meh. Nothing that I'm actually going to miss that much. It's not like we're playing, like, a top-of-the-line first-person shooter right now. Instead, oh my god, there's, like, this Doom shooter coming out pretty soon. Like, they use the exact same graphic style. as It's almost, it looks like a Doom mod, almost. But anyways, it looks pretty awesome. I'm really, really excited about trying it out. I can't wait until they have a playable alpha. I'm a huge, huge, huge Doom fan. Always have been, always will be. I consider Doom and Wolfenstein to be the games that set me on the path to be like a PC gamer for the rest of my life. Because we had Wolfenstein on my dad's Pentium 1 at his business. So my dad, for his office, bought a computer. And this was back in the day when like people didn't have computers. My dad's always been kind of a techie. And so once he was running his business for a while and he was starting to make profits, he was like, I want to have a computer. And so he had a computer to help him with his business. And so he didn't like using the typewriter or what. Yep, That's right. When I was a kid, people had typewriters. Typewriters were a thing. A little tick 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 thing they would do when they got too far ahead. And then when you had to I don't know what it was called. There was a little slide thing at the end. It'd make like the ching noise. But yeah. That was the sound effect of my childhood. My dad in his office working on the typewriter. Ching 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 ching. Zip wing ding. He had a typewriter that had a bunch of fonts and stuff, too. Although you had to swap the... There was like a, a ball thing inside of it. That you, my dad still has that typewriter. It's still at the house right now. I mean, it's all yellow and old and blackened with age, but still has it. Still has it. My parents don't throw stuff away. They're kind of pack ratty like that. They still got the Pentium 1 over there, too. Got the computer with Windows ME on it. They never get rid of it. I think it's just because they might not know where to get rid of it. It's like illegal in California just to throw shit in dumpsters. If it's got like electrical parts or if it's got like batteries or anything else. Oh my god. Let's get some more swords and shields. Because I think I'm out of those. And maybe some more of those. Place that order real, real quick. Because I think that chaos is coming, and we're making money hand over fist right now, which is pretty cool. I don't really know what that means. I've never had, like, a hand over my fist while I made money. I assume that it must be some kind of, like, ceremonial salute to the other person that you're selling stuff to. Man, you guys are messy as hell, you know that? Y'all are the worst. Trying to keep things on the shelves, and they just will not allow it. They're like, no, I want that shit on the floor. That is what you get. Get down on the flow. On the flow. When you gotta pocket down on the flow. On the flow. There we go. Pick up the chess pieces real fast. Not the ones, not the pawns, the rooks, and all those sorts of things, but you know, the leather armor, the stuff that protects you from death. Now that those have been set up, God. Sometimes clicking these things is really, really weird. Ugh. Grab you. Nobody buying from over here. I wonder if it's got some kind of like internal order. God. Because definitely it's displaying some external disorder right now. But what I'm saying is with the programming, we got one minute left. 
That guy's running out, but I don't know what he has. Or if he has anything at all. It's throwing me off. I'm trying to make some money right now, though. So I'm going to throw out the swords because I'm trying to get paid. And they're a higher profit margin item than the shields and stuff. This thing needs to be fixed, but only after I put the armor on it. Come on, armor. Go on there. Perfect. Armor rack done. Go ahead and fix this thing on up. I'm sure all the cabinets are going to need to be worked on, too. It seems likely to me. All right. It's a little busted up. Man. All this stuff is not looking good. Apparently, I underestimated their ability to destroy my carpentry and also marble-related facilities. I love marble counters. Marble counters are a beautiful, they're a beautiful, beautiful thing. Especially since I studied geology in college. I like to look at them. I like to see, like, the granitic patterns and stuff like that. I'm like, hmm. That's very, very interesting. What did you do? You did something. Oh, never mind. He was innocent. It looks like they deduct the cost of his gear from you when you kill him. Because he had a shield and, like, a chest piece and some other stuff. That guy probably stole that potion. Not even mad right now, though. Not even mad. Man. So many things on the floor right now. Like my jaw and my wallet. It's dragging on the floor because, oh man, this guy definitely stole some. Gotta get him. It was an expensive item. I can't let him run away with the expensive stuff. It's like a health potion. I'm not going to chase him halfway over to, across town over 13 gold. However, the swords are a big deal. They cost a lot, so I would probably rather zap that guy than just about anybody else. Considering that's the most expensive item that I carry. Piotr Smith. Throw a couple more things of gloves on the shelf. Perfect. Inside of the chaos, I'm finding with this game it's very difficult to do commentary. Because there's so much chaos going on. So many things that like need your attention at every moment. That it's just very, very difficult to keep yourself like in a headspace where you can actually talk about funny things. Perfect. Stuff's selling as fast as that. You could just ask me for it, man. You ain't gotta grab it off the shelf. If you see me there stocking it, I mean, why not just... Ask me for one out of the pile. Yeah, you shouldn't have done that. Now you're dead. As you have stolen from me, I shall now steal the breath from your lungs, the moisture from your flesh, the sun from his father. I will destroy you, thief. Tahif. I think, wow. What a day. Just another day in retail hell. Perfect. Got those gloves on that shelf. A little bit of booties right there. Man. Talk about a favorable position. Eh. I don't want to let him get out of the store. If he gets out of the store, i got to chase him. He dies inside. It still seems like I've got a chance of cleaning this up before the day ends. When you got skeletons outside, they still, I think they detract from the value of your store. Even though they're outside. And so anyways, you got to clean up the dead folks. We're probably going to get robbed right now. It's going to suck. Would not recommend it, but the dead bodies have got to go. Sold a sword, so that's good. We're sitting on like seven grand right now, which is quite a bit of cash. I'm hoping our K points are satisfactory too. As long as our K points are lined up, that's the big thing that I'm working towards right now. Is that I wanted to get some new wares so we can start attracting new people to the shop. Perfect. And then after we do that, I'll probably go through and maybe set up like the robots so that I don't have to do quite so much cleaning. I think the robots, though, I'm not exactly sure how they work. I don't think I've actually played around with them. That would have been one of those things that I probably wanted to test before I put them in a video. However, it's too late for that now. Had I the foresight, perhaps I would have thought to do that, but nope. Foresight, not my strength. Foresight, not my strength. Those gloves. Apparently picking up those gloves is not my strength either. Ugh. On my word, gloves. I'm coming back for you. Coming back for you. You're going to get it, Gloves. Going to get it one day. I need to restock very, very badly. We're still selling stuff, though. We moved a lot of product today. We moved a lot of product. How many points did we get? Enough. All right, so let's unlock some Tier 1 Warrior items. There we go. And we have 25 left over. That's not going to be enough for us to grab. Most of the stuff in here is going to be too expensive, but... There's only a minute left in the day. I don't really feel like hustling in the last minute of the day. It's kind of like when you got 10 minutes of work left and you're just like, ooh, sitting there staring at the clock getting ready to go. Everybody falls victim to it. Don't act like you don't. There's always that guy. There's always that guy at every job who's like, 
Got time to lean, you got time to clean. I'm like, man, we closed in like four minutes. Just give it a break. It'll be fine. Just dig around your butt. Find that stick that's in there like sideways. That one that's been just standing you up like a scarecrow your entire life. And yank on it. And just see if you can get a large chunk of it out of your ass. And then once you yank that out of there, come hang out with me. Because I think if you cared a little less, you could be a fun human being. Just throwing it out there. I don't know. Just try to feed my kids, man. I'm like, point well taken. You know what? You do you. You do you. You got responsibilities and shit. I can afford to be slovenly and not care, I guess, because I don't have kids or family or anything like that. As long as I've got, like, the bare basic minimum to look after myself, I seem to be fine. I'd probably be more paranoid about working super hard in the last 10 minutes of the day, too. That's such a specific thing, though. I'd be like, because I have children, I work super hard in the last 10 minutes of the day. I'm usually gassed out by that point. That's the big thing for me. By, like, 4.40... I put in all my hardcore, I'm the kind of person who likes to hit it hard, like first thing in the morning, and then once you hit it like super hard, you get all your work done for the rest of the day, then you just dig around on Reddit. I loved working, we got a frost axe, we got plate shoulders, a two-handed sword, bigger, better, stronger. So now we've got plate boots instead of armored boots, more plate won't hurt. I wonder if I should carry, like, diversified, will they still care about these boots? So let's say I get, let's go for like... Did it just jump to 15? That 13 looks very much like a 15. Hmm, that font might need to be tightened up a little bit. God, this is going to be expensive. This is going to be really, really expensive. I'll probably just go in six on like, I don't know what plate shoulders. Maybe I should just buy one plate shoulder for right now. I don't know what rack I put them on. That's the problem. We got frost axes. Let's start off with that. We got new stock and it's looking good. I think I've got more than enough of those for right now. Oh, we got pantalones, too. No more arrows to the knees. I'll probably just buy a couple of those. A couple of plate chests. I'm trying to stock up right now. I'm trying to make it so we're moving into... We got studded gloves now. Studded for his pleasure. Got plate helmet. Man, we got all kinds of little things up in here that we're going to be playing around with. I got to restock some of the shelves, though. I'll probably keep the leather gloves in stock, too, because like I said previously... Having a diversified stock doesn't seem like a terrible idea to me. It seems like a good idea, in fact. I would love to pick you up, by the way. I'm like, yeah, well, I'm a fancy pair of gloves. I'm not that easy. You think you just come by with a cheap glass of E&J? I'm just going to go home with you like that? You think I'm going to be like that? No, I'm not. These gloves are not easy, my friend. If you want to slide on into me, you got to put in some groundwork. you got to have some pregame. I'm like, wow, that got really, really gnarly for me just trying to pick up some gloves. I'll probably just keep these in stock for right now. I may actually double down on one of these since it's empty already. Then we'll take the health potions and we'll stock them on this side. And I gotta hit that from the corner. There we go. Probably try to keep you stocked too. I don't know where we're gonna sit some of this stuff. So anyways, let's get this armor rack going. I need... Actually, I probably should just break that. There we go. And then allow me to get my gloves out. Perfect. And so now i got to replace the cabinet. Awesome. Right where I wanted it to be. I love it when things deploy on the first try exactly where I want them to go. So helmets... These obviously go on hat racks, so let's go ahead and put some helmets on there. They're Skyrim helmets, that's pretty sweet. Got a couple pairs of really nice gloves, and then we'll stock the rest of them like the bottom shelf gloves. You feel me? We're going to stack up our gloves just like we do at the liquor aisle. I'm about to get my liquor aisle on tonight. With the day of recording this, it's New Year's Eve. I'm going out tonight with a bunch of friends, and I think it's going to be I think it's gonna be cool. I think it's going to be cool. I don't get out much anymore. This YouTube thing became much more time intensive than I ever expected it to be. And because of that, I don't get out very much. Like, hardly ever do I get out. I'm going to put the cheap booties over here. So there we go. If you want to get some cheap booties, that's the place. And then we're going to take the plate boots. And we're going to sell the expensive stuff over here. Perfect. I think the Warriors are going to be pleased. The guys coming in, I think they're going to be excited about the new possibilities afforded to them by the armor selection that we have now provided. Where does plate pants go? Plate pants go on the armor rack. Frost axes. They go over here. 
Or do I have to have a weapon rack for that? Nope, they'll go right there. It's a pretty badass looking axe. I think it works. I think we're about to make hella money today, so where do these go? Maybe on a pedestal? Let me see. Yeah, it looks like they go on a pedestal. That or a counter. So maybe I'll actually, maybe I'll sell the shoulders over here first. Did I only buy the one pair? I only bought the one pair because I wasn't sure where they went. And I wanted to make sure I had the proper counter. Smart move on my part. But I don't expect my... The problem is, I don't expect myself... Oh, I can't afford that right now. We'll just leave them over there. I need to build a couple more racks, so... I'll probably just restock the armor and stuff as we go along. I don't think that... Yeah... I'll probably just restock. We got so much stuff in our inventory right now. I'll probably just restock it as we go along. We have any skills that we can add on to right now? We got 51k points. That's actually a lot more than I expected to have for right now. Wouldn't be the worst plan to go after engineering. We could probably have that done by tomorrow. We've got grinders. We got materials. We got all kinds of random things inside of here. I think the champion would be kind of cool. Might be a decent idea to go in after him, but not now. Not now. I don't know if I want rogues in my shop. Like, we can send out a message to get rogues to come hang out with you. But I'm not so positive that's something that, like, I'm ready for. I'll probably do entry fee next. Something to make my life a little bit more lucrative as people come in to check out our wares. But that's going to be it for me today. We got another day done here in Shopapee Keep. I'll see you all in future episodes. I'm going to restock for just a moment. And then maybe at the outset of the next episode, we'll play around with... I don't know. We got to have something going on. That plate sure looks sick, though. Looks super sick. It looks like dress wear, unless that's like empty space right there. But it looks like a shirt. I'll see you all in the next episode. Hi to everybody.